and welcome back to another episode of Teaching Partner. Today we will be delving into the fascinating world of active learning and exploring five successful examples that have proven to enhance knowledge retention and critical thinking. Before we jump into the examples, let's first understand what active learning truly means. Active learning is a dynamic approach to education that encourages students to actively participate in the learning process rather than passively absorbing information. It involves engaging multiple senses and employing critical thinking skills. By doing so, active learning improves comprehension, encourages collaboration and fosters a deeper understanding of the material. Let's move to some successfully tested examples of active learning. Example number one, the Murray's point. In this activity, you ask children to reflect on the part of a lesson they found the most unclear or confusing. If you have an interactive whiteboard display, such as Active Panel Interactive Display, you could get children to write or indicate on a whiteboard the topics they are most unclear about. This will allow them to reflect on their learning on the topic in question while also providing excellent feedback for teachers who can tailor future lessons to tackle the issues arising across the class. Example number two, interactive simulations. Interactive simulations provide virtual environments where students can explore, experiment and learn in a risk-free setting, whether it be a science experiment or a business simulation. These hands-on activities offer an immersive learning experience. The ability to test theories and observe immediate feedback translates to higher engagement levels and improved understanding. Example number three, just in time teaching. It is a method of active learning that uses a blend of class discussion, collaboration and individual learning. Your students will be set a task, usually reading, to do outside of the classroom in their own time. They'll then have to respond to a series of short questions, whether that's online or in writing on a worksheet. Once they have done this, you can create a number of group exercises based on the work and their answers in the classroom where the students will have to cooperate. Example number four, the pause procedure. This is a great way to promote active learning in your classroom even when you are focusing primarily on passive learning. Every 12 to 15 minutes of your class, you have been dictating or sharing videos. You should pause for two or three minutes. In this time, you should encourage students to share their notes in pairs, giving them a chance to talk about what they have learned rework their notes or ask any question they have. Finally, example number five, posters and gallery walk. Another group activity you can engage your students in is a poster and gallery walk. Give groups of students an assignment that they need to work on together and present their ideas on a sheet of chart paper. Once they have completed their poster, have them display it on the wall around the classroom. One of their group will stay with the poster and help to explain it as the class circulates to look at all of the posters. A student take turns standing by their poster so each of them has the chance to visit the other's group's poster. You could also get students to feedback on what they learn from other group's poster to further their understanding of other topics. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this video is very useful for you. So thank you very much. If you have any question, query or you need any support for making a decision, don't hesitate to write an email to the teaching partner at gmail.com. Thank you very much and see you in the next video. Goodbye.